So I just had an interesting experience. There was a, a mini in a ditch. They'd reversed into a ditch there on holiday. And uh, they stopped. They stopped me to see if I could help get them out of the ditch. And I sussed it out. It looked fairly straightforward. But I walked away. Because I didn't have what I consider to be the appropriate equipment. I only had a cargo strap in the back. I didn't have a recovery strap. And it looked like if I pulled the vehicle from either from the front or the back, the um, one of the wheels would fall into the ditch further, either turning turning forwards or reversing backwards round, because it's quite a, probably about a two foot drop into a muddy stream. I, I couldn't see how I could pull their car. If it was another Land Rover, I'd give it a go. And I had the right strap. I did if I could have gone off probably and found a strap somewhere about 15 minutes away, but I I couldn't have guaranteed that I wouldn't have damaged their vehicle in some way, and I don't really want to damage their vehicle. And they've got RAC cover. So it's a bit unfortunate not to be able to help, but as much as uh, it's quite fun towing people out, and I've done it several times in the past helping people out and you want to be able to help in this situation I think it was better that I walked away I couldn't so I didn't want to film this is me looking in the mirror going away I didn't want to film them while I was there because it was uh be rubbing it in their faces but um this is uh what it looks like the next day 24 hours later I'm back here and if we just flip the image around this is where it is Maybe you get some bit more of the scale. So they had one wheel there and one wheel there. So they'd reversed here around bump and the wheel ended up there. So the car was positioned like this. So if I'd have pulled it forwards, it would have, you would have wanted to go like that. And the back right wheel, back left wheel would have dropped in the hole, and uh, it would have been, you know, it would have landed on the sills on there. We wanted to come backwards. They thought maybe reverse, turn the front wheels and curve it around this way, but we'd be wanting to pull it that way. So you'd be wanting to pull this way, and the wheels would be wanting to turn it that way. So you're working at cross purposes there. So really, you need to be able to ideally pull from the front that that direction. With the cable on the back wheel to keep it from slipping down this way so because i didn't want to damage the vehicle so i thought i can't do that let's leave the professionals to do it shall we this is what's left of the car <laughs> oh so that's what happens when the professionals come to do it so it's a pretty big truck. If you look here, so the driver, the truck would have come in, driven up here, and then it's reversed back in here to about this point there, and it's towed them from here. Got a few marks in here. They've been doing some manoeuvring around, but it looks like it must have been a pretty big, um, pretty big truck. Now that's the that's the wheel track there pretty big truck to come and pull them out and um end up damaging the vehicle anyway so if the professionals can't do it then i'm quite glad that quite glad that i didn't give it a go Get a perspective there so there was a wheel about here and there was a wheel about there and it was kind of tilted like this yeah, all fun and games, all fun and games. It's a shame I couldn't help them, but there we go. The fact that this thing got left behind, because that's pretty obviously lying out in the open, means they must have, it must have been after dark that they, uh, that they got rescued, which means they were here for at least three or four hours. Three or four hours. Probably also worth mentioning that uh, this is a very UK centric video because where we are right now, we're probably about three miles from the nearest town. We're in phone reception and the weather isn't that cold, so obviously those things change 
actually you might have seen that on my all the gear no idea video I did pull someone out in that context but in the UK you know when recovery services are available pretty much everywhere you don't have to put yourself under pressure to pull people out people out necessarily look at that scar line there I think what they may have done I think this probably might be the way to do it. They might have done it. Pull the pull the back wheels around. They pull the back wheels out like that. Maybe put a pin in on the front wheel so it doesn't pivot. Pull the back wheels around and then pull it forwards in that direction. That might have been a way to do it. But really, there's not really any any towing point in a mini other than putting the loops through the alloy wheels on the other side. So yeah, that's not something I would have been comfortable with. Not at all. Um, yeah, it's interesting looking at this. There's a line there, so it looks like that might have been the front wheel. So yeah, they might have skidded it back out that way, and then and then reversed a bit, and cause it looks like they went in there. Perhaps. Hmm. Um, but there we go. I think that was the right thing to do, restraint in that situation. Just because you've got the toys sometimes doesn't mean you should always use them.